Hey guys and welcome to another onboard video, this time from the European Cup in the south of Portugal in Quatera. The race started off with a pretty shaky swim for me and I got right in the middle of the carnage around the first uh, buoy and probably was spit out uh, of that fighting uh, in maybe 25th to 30th position. So I had to make up a lot of positions uh, during the second part of the swim. Luckily I, I managed to do that and I was just at the end of, of the first bigger pack and I saw everybody doing their transition and I knew I had to give it all uh, in that situation to just make it onto the end on the first pack. And that's why I, I ran through the first transition uh, with full speed. I just got blocked here a little bit uh, by the Portuguese guy. I would have liked to run a little faster. Yeah, and then uh, I knew that uh, I had maybe a 20 seconds disadvantage to the to the leaders. So onto the bike and then just smash it uh, all I had. There was a few guys that actually um, were into T1 in front of me and that didn't make the first pack and yeah so I just started off really fast and uh, just hammered it down. There were two guys uh, sitting on my back, uh, one was uh, Christoph de Kaiser from Belgium and Bob Haller from Luxembourg and at that point I didn't know that already so I just put my, my head down uh, and smashed it. On the first few hundred meters I don't really like looking around because uh, the moment you start looking and maybe you see someone behind you you might think that okay let, let them do some work and then if they don't uh, it's going to slow down quite a bit so I just go until I can't do it anymore and then I'll see if, if there's someone to help me and uh, if someone will help me that's fine then I'll just like uh, yeah work together as well as possible and if not I'll just uh, go on uh, go on riding uh, as fast as I can and then of course I have to slow down a little bit luckily the two other guys um, were willing to help me and yeah we could see the the front pack forming and they were probably still like 10 seconds ahead but we really pushed it hard uh, on those first one to two kilometers and, and we just made it onto the tail end of the first group here and as always the last 10 meters it's always the hardest and you can see me struggling to just uh, close those last 10 meters down and it was actually I, I, I couldn't do it in that in that moment so um, I had to be passed uh, another time and just held on for dear life to make it uh, into the draft of uh, Christoph here. So as I went the first two minutes absolutely max all out, uh, you, could, you could probably understand that my legs weren't really fresh anymore. So um, I was happy that the, there was a, a turnaround here. So uh, everybody slowed down a little bit, uh, of course, to get around the corner. And I made the mistake of just letting maybe a meter too much between me and the guy in front of me. And then the, after the turning point, uh, the long string of athletes always uh, snaps back together. And uh, all, all the time the last athlete has to sprint the fastest to get, to get back into the group after the turning point. And in that case the last athlete was me and I was already smashed, so, so my acceleration wasn't really that fast anymore. And I saw them like uh, st stringing away from me and I knew I had to hold on for dear life to just make it into the group because otherwise uh, the probability would have been high that uh, I'd maybe lose one or two minutes uh, if I don't make it to the group. And luckily I just uh, hold on and made it right here. So yeah, from that point I was pretty safe in, in the group. And yeah, to be honest, there was not much going on from that point on. In the beginning of the, of the bike leg, the group actually worked together pretty well, I would say. There were maybe five guys of the, of the 15 that, well, weren't working too hard and uh, sat in the back um, a little more. But uh, yeah, there was, I would say, 10 or more guys that actually worked together. Uh, when it started to, to, to form that first group. So the only hard thing on that course actually is this uh, hill we are climbing right now 
and yeah, that, that's the only time on the course where you really have to put down the hammer and, and climb up, especially for me uh, as a little heavier athlete. But yeah, during all the six laps, there wasn't much of a problem. As the chase group was uh, riding even slower than us, uh, nobody really was urgent to, to push the pace too much. So yeah, the rest of the bike pretty much, uh, <laughs> I would say, <laughs> was kind of boring. Um, and But the, it was still fast enough so that attacks weren't really possible because you gotta have uh, a little bit of a difference in speed uh, to actually make a break and it was kind of fast still uh, of course with with 10 or 10 to 15 athletes working together uh, the pace is always pretty fast uh, although it's not too exhausting so attacking uh, would have made a big amount of energy necessary uh, to invest and then it wouldn't have been like really uh, it would, would wouldn't have been really intelligent to do that in that situation so I just cut right to the end of the bike even uh, at the end there wasn't too much fighting for positions there and uh, yeah basically we just uh, head into transition I had a pretty good transition and uh, we're out on the run right with the leaders uh, straight from the beginning and yeah from that on uh, I pretty much ran with a group of eight uh, that was leading the race and that group of eight then uh, came down to a group of six um, after quite a while and then a group of six pretty much fought it out for the win sadly I didn't have like the the last kick uh, to make it in the sprint so uh, until 300 meters to uh, to the finish I was still yeah in touch with the first one maybe one meter behind the the uh, first behind the race leader but yeah sadly I got six uh, out of the six uh, in our group but yeah, it was still a pretty solid result. Um, with that result, I'm uh, now qualified to uh, race in the WTS. So yeah, it was definitely a good race. So as always, thanks for watching, uh, although it was pretty short this time. And see you next time.